Tommy, and another tough challenge. I know they all are, but this weekend as Oldham come to town, it's another team that are right around us in the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah, they're literally right around us. So you know, we're expecting a tough challenge. Anybody, you know, there aren't any easy games in this division. We keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, but they're a huge football club um, and they've been on a really good roll since the change of, of manager. So, you know, they, they have a, a definite way of playing and we've looked at that. I'm sure they've looked at us. Um, and we'll be going head to head, you know, as, as best we can on on Saturday. So we look forward to the game. You know, at the rate that we've picked points up so far this season, we we're looking to do the same thing in between now and the end of the season. Really, Oldham are one of the teams that have you know made a, a bit of a late charge into the playoffs. There's, there's been a bit of movement in and around us in that area, but I think that's credit to us, isn't it, that we have stayed around it and and mostly in it for for this long this in yeah. the season. It's strange, really, because. If anything, we've probably been consistently inconsistent, but but it's managed to keep us where we are in the division. And you know, it's only now that people are, are starting to take note that oh, they may hang around there till the end. And you know, we've been very on the on the QT really. We've tried to go under under everybody's radars. I know that the FA Cup run took a little bit of focus away from what we were doing in the league, but we just kept plodding along there. And Touchwood, there's not too many periods in the season where we've not taken points more than for two games in a row. So you know, thankfully we, we went on the road and we managed to take off the points that were available to us. Um, we would have liked more, but um, things transpired against us at South End, which un in effect really did have, did have huge bearing on the results. Um, to receive another letter from the, the powers that be that they got the decisions wrong, but they didn't rescind the red card and we therefore went again without uh, rolling many easy sticks in my throat a little bit, but um, we have to move on. Roland's back available again in, uh, like I say, Oldham are the next people in our crosshairs and we're, we're looking and focusing totally on them. It was obviously a very long time ago, but we, when we played Oldham last, it wasn't a, a, a very pretty result on paper, but I actually think it was one of those performances where we were pretty decent from, for the vast majority of it. They just were maybe a bit more clinical in, mm. in front of goal. So. I guess we can take a bit of confidence into that, but I know you'll love, obviously a lot has changed in that time, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, both teams have changed quite a bit. Both squads have changed quite a bit since then. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a humbling. You know, at the end of the day, we'd gone there on the back of a really good opening day result at home. But we knew, and they, they'd had a thump in it at South End, if I remember rightly. Um, but that, that was another one. The, the scoreline that day did not reflect the game. You know, Lorraine, I was very unlucky not to score a couple of goals early on in the game and they were very fortunate not to have a lad removed from the pitch and as it happened it was another week and on the Wednesday that I received the letter to say sorry but you know sorries don't get your points um, but that's a long time ago as, as you know we, every time you face um, whatever team we face we look at the here and the now or certainly the last couple of weeks of and what they've done and like you said since Mickey and his group have gone in there they've made definitive changes that have, have put them on the upward curve um, Hopefully they can get back on their upward curve after the weekend, but not not on Saturday. Back at the EBB Stadium, of course, and quite an interesting stat I saw is it's actually only our second game this year at home at 3pm on a Saturday. So it'll be good to get the, the bit of normality at the EBB Stadium again, I guess, after, you know, taking what was more than the home crowd to Oxford last weekend. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the following we've had all over the country this season has been excellent. And, you know, we really do thank them for that. But, you know, we've packed, packed the EBB on a few occasions and, of course, I wish. I assume I should never do that, but <laughs> I do assume that Oldham will bring a few. It's a Saturday afternoon game, and they've got a fantastic following. So, you know, we're looking we're looking forward to welcoming them down, um, but try and make it as uncomfortable as we can for them, and then we'll wish them the best on the way back up the M6. Uh, but yeah, the the crowd on Saturday, I'm expecting it to be upwards of three thousand, to be honest, and, and, and you know that's that's really good for us. But as you said. The, the week we had three games at home was two night games and then a 5.30 game for the for the TV cameras. So, yeah, it'll be nice to see the light of day as I come out my car. Um, but it'll be dark when I go home as normal and, and hopefully it'll be a positive result. And how's the squad looking? I know, we, obviously, we've, you said about rolling. We've had a couple of suspensions, haven't mm. we? And Kean was missing um, from the weekend. Are they kind of getting near to back and, and a few of the injuries as well? Have you got an update on Jack Barham yet? Because I know it's been a while since we've spoken yeah. about him. Well, it's good news in that Jack. Jack hasn't done anything structurally to his knee. It's, it's a muscular injury, but it's a it's a really obscure muscle. It's in behind his his patella, so I couldn't even tell you what the name of it is. But it, it needs rest more than anything else, and I think he's got to be sort of fairly immobile for the next. Not immobile, sorry. He's got to be fairly straight line for the next week or two. But I do hope to see him before the end of the season. Um, 
maybe not quite, probably by the end of the month with a little bit of luck. Um, Christian McGoma's coming on great. It's really good to see big mags on the training ground. He's a, he's a breath of fresh air. And, and even in his sort of moderate state is what I'd class him at the moment. He's not at 100% in terms of his pace and his movement, but you can see there's a great player in there. So again, he's another one I'm, I'm really positive in, in my thinking of hoping to get him on the pitch before the end of the, the campaign. Uh, both Theo and Ollie Scott have come through a full week's training. So yeah, the, the numbers are definitely sw swollen from the last couple of weeks. Keane still misses through suspension, but Rowland's back. But Kobe starts a two-game suspension. So yeah, it, it's all swings and roundabouts. We've had a few lads in this week to have a look at. And of course, um, Dylan, Dylan Cadge has joined us from Bristol City. So again, where options are plentiful um the difficult job is picking the right 11 and the right five on the bench and i'm sure there may be one or two lads disappointed this this week which we haven't been able to do for a little while so always a nice headache for the manager to have